vision is a window to the world. Through this, we can connect with others and share happiness. That's why it's an integral part of our life. If I ask everyone here to think about a life without vision, I think many of you would feel sad because no one would love to go blind. We can see when light falls on the retina. This lies at the backside of our eye and the central portion of the retina is called macula, which is responsible for central vision. As you grow older, like all other body organs, this can get worse as well because of the disease called age-related macular degeneration, in short, ARMD. Maybe you haven't heard about this disease before, but if you have an aged family member, then please listen carefully because this is one of the leading cause of blindness all around the world. Alone in Japan, 40% people are suffering of this disease and they're in, in risk group. To understand the disease, let's look at the image clearly. I know you're trying hard, but still you cannot see the faces. It's because this could happen at the late stage of ARMD. This disease is so grave because we haven't found any cure yet. To solve this problem, my research has a key role to play. While looking for several treatment options, we have found that a lipid molecule, S1P, sphingosine one phosphate, which has a very significant role to play in disease pathogenesis. After injecting inflammatory drugs in our animal experiment, we have found that the two group of which one is wild type, where the retina has a lot of S1P showed more inflammation, but the knockout group without S1P showed less inflammation and less cell death, which proves that this is a key molecule to help us to get a cure. Unlike other research, we targeted lipid because this is one of the important key molecules to develop drug, as well as helps in signaling and a compound as a cell structure. This drug, if we could make it, it can deactivate S1P and help us to get, prevent us from getting blind. Now, I want to think about, again, about the picture where you could think. Let's think, do you want to hold your grandchildren but still don't want to see their face? I don't think so. And that's why my research can help you. But still, in reality, about 170 million individuals are suffering of this disease. And one in eight of you could have a possibility to get infected with this disease. That's why by using a swan lipid signaling molecule, I am quite certain that my hard work will lead a goal had to serve the side of the whole world. And I believe that eyes that see shouldn't grow old. That's all for me. Thank you.